Guys, <laughs> when I tell you I freaked the heck out this week over Taylor Swift's new album, let me just show you. This is my Taylor Swift wall. Not to mention... Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Nina. So, on Thursday morning, I wake up around 7, I'm with my best friend, Lauren, and she goes, Taylor Swift's dropping a new album tonight, and I was like, no she isn't. And then I looked at my phone and I was like, hello? Miss Taylor Allison Swift, who gave you the right? If you didn't know, Taylor Swift dropped an entire 16 track album on Thursday night. I was not ready for that. All of the songs are pretty acoustic and so I was super excited that I could learn them all and I think on this channel I'm going to be trying to post as many tutorials as I can on this album because it's like super different and I love it. If you haven't seen my past Taylor Swift guitar tutorials, I will link the playlist up here. But guys, I'm so excited. I put out a poll the other day asking which song you guys wanted me to teach first and that ended up being Cardigan which is the song that she made a music video for so go check that out all right let's get into this so the song cardigan it is not like any other taylor swift song i've learned honestly it's very hard for me to sing this song in the original key because it's so low but i'm gonna be teaching you just the way that it's played on the track you're going to have your capo on the first fret if that's too low for you to sing with just move up the capo i probably will be doing that to show you the song Song with singing because I just I have tried I cannot sing this song in the key that it is in also I will be linking the tab that I'm playing the chords that I'm playing in the description box so you can click on my the link to my website and it will take you to all of my guitar tabs that I play in my tutorials so also, if you want to click there right now and pull up the chords, you can play along with me. It has chord charts and it, yeah, has everything you need to know. So basically, the first verse, there's not an intro. It just kind of goes straight into it after the weird kind of, like, sounds in the beginning of the song. So for the verse, it's going to be E minor, A, G, A. And then in the second verse, it kind of changes, but this is the first verse, so you're going to play E minor. <laughs> And then we have A, and then we have G, and then we're going to go back to A. So you're going to do a full measure of these chords. For the strumming pattern, for the, for the verse, and for the whole song, it's going to sound like this. It's kind of like with the rhythm of the words, so it's gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And then you go to the next chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So if you say that in your head while you play it, it will help you a lot. So let me just go over that one more time. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down down, up, up, down, up, down. Okay, so 
If you cannot do that at all, it is perfectly okay. You can just do down strumming or you can just do single strums until you are able to speed it up a little bit. So we can do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can just down strum it four times. Vintage T, brand new phone, high heels on. Cobblestone. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. Sequin smile, black lipstick, sensual politics. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. And then when you get to the pre chorus, the progression changes a little bit and there's a new chord. So you're going to play D. And then you're gonna do A. And then you're gonna go G. And then you're gonna go back to A. So basically you're substituting the E minor for the D. And that is the same strumming pattern. But I knew you dancing in your Levi's drunk in a street light. I, I knew you hand under my sweatshirt. So that is the pre-chorus, and you can do the down strumming, you can do the strumming pattern that I taught you, either one. When you get to the chorus, it goes back to the E minor, so the chorus is just like those two lines, and when I felt like I was an old cardigan under someone's bed, you put me on and told me I was your favorite. So those two lines are um, these four chords. It's going to be E minor, and then it's going to be A, and then it's going to be G and then you're gonna end on the A for the chorus. And so that's like the same as the first part of the verse. So, and feel free on the chorus to just do one strum for effect, so it could just be like. And when I felt like I wasn't caught again. See how low it is? Oh my God, I cannot sing. You put me on and said I was your friend. Guys, I swear I'm better at singing than this. Taylor Swift just has the lowest range ever. Verse 2 is the same as verse 1, except for it's cut in half, so there's only like one round of the chords. In verse 1, there's two. It's E minor, A, G, and then A. And then I'll do it with the strumming pattern again. Down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down. And then back into the pre-chorus. It's the same as the first pre-chorus, it just has different words. So it's gonna go D. But I knew you playing hide and seek and giving me a weekend. I knew you, heartbeat on the highline, once in 20 lifetimes I, I And then goes into chorus number two, and this changes a little bit. The chords for this one, instead of, instead of E minor A, G A, it's going to be G, B minor, D, G. So, you're gonna play G. So for B minor, this chord is technically a bar chord, so you could play it, and I'll put the chart for the bar chord right here, so it looks like this. But I hate bar chords, Taylor Swift hates bar chords, and so I have learned how to play every single bar chord without a bar, because why play it with one when you can play it without one? Because <laughs> it's, especially if you're a beginner, because it's really hard for you to get that full index finger spread across the whole fret. I'm going to show you the cheater way, I'll put the chart right here, but basically I do it without the bar. So you can play it with the bar or you can just put your first finger on the second fret first string and kind of make the same kind of shape as the bar chord. But instead of playing all of the strings, you're just going to play the bottom four. It's going to sound like this. And when I felt like I was in no part again under someone's bed, you put me on and said, 
said I was your favorite. That is the pitched up version of the chorus, but that's basically how it's gonna sound. And then they, she has this little like instrumental break, which is going to be G, B minor, A, and then G. So you're just gonna keep the same strumming pattern when you go through those. So it's gonna sound like this. G. And then B minor. And then A. And then G. And then it goes into verse three, which is kind of like a bridge. The bridge is pretty long. The chords for this one are all over the place too. There's no real progression in this song, and I think that's what makes it so different from every other Taylor Swift song because usually her songs only have four chords for the whole entire song. But this one's different. So the first one's gonna be G, so it's gonna go to kissing cars in downtown bars and B minor. Was all I needed. And then A. And then G. And so if you look at my tab, I put the chord directly above the word that you need to play the chord on to help you out when you're hearing it and you're singing it. The best way to learn a song is to play it while listening to it. So I, that's literally all I did this morning was I played the song while I played it on my guitar so that I can get the tempo down, the chord changes down. So highly recommend that. In the second part of the third verse, you go to the kind of like the same chords as the pre-chorus, D, A, G, A. So it's gonna sound like this. Cause I knew you stepping on the last train, bouncing like the blood saying, ah, G. I knew you tried to change the end and Peter was a Wendy, ah, ah. And so you're gonna do that, those chords one more time for the very end of that third verse. And this is the only part that's different, the little ending. She goes back to that line, when you are young, they assume you know nothing. So it's gonna go. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. Basically, on my tab, if sometimes it could be confusing when to change chords and when to like start singing after you switch chords. So basically, if you see a chord that is a little bit before the words, that means you down strum and then you sing. So that's why when it says, I knew you, you play D. It's, it, you have to strum once before you start singing. So it goes. I knew you. Does that make sense? Leave a comment down below if that doesn't make sense. Um, I hope that I'm teaching this right. It's so hard to convey what I'm trying to say through your camera without any feedback. So I hope that is helping you. Okay, so one of the last things is the bridge. It's gonna be D, A, G, A. The only thing is, there's so there's three sections of the bridge. There's two sections of D, A, G, A, D, A, G, A. And then the last four are gonna be E minor, A, G, A. And that's gonna be the bridge. You don't start the D on the bridge until the middle of the line. So you're still kind of on the A from the verse before it. So I'll start from the end of the verse so it goes. When you are young, you assume you know nothing. I knew you'd linger like a tattoo kiss. Did you get it? Okay, so it's gonna be like, they assume you know nothing, A. And then you go, but I knew you'd, and on linger, you're gonna hit that D. Got it? Okay. I knew you'd linger like a tattoo kiss. I knew you haunt me like a lips. Yeah, I don't know the words. Above each word that you're supposed to play, the first downstream of the next chord, I have put the chord above that word. Let's just play that part together. Yeah, so it's gonna go. I knew you'd linger like a tattoo kiss. I knew hogs all of my worries The smell of smoke would hang around this long Cause I knew everything when I was young And then D Up, up, down, 
up down A, down, down, up, up down, up down G, down, down, up, up down, up down, and then A, down, down, up, up down, and then you're going to go to the E minor, down, down, up, up down, A, down, up, up down, G, down, down, up, up down, up down, A, end on the A, down, So at the end there, she's saying like, and you'd come back to me, and you'd come back to me, and you'd come back on that A, you can just kind of like, A and let it ride. And then you're gonna go for the last chorus, last part, you made it this far, congrats, because this is a lot of chords. The last one is just like the chorus two, where it's gonna be G, B minor, D, G, and then you're done. There's no outro or anything, so it's gonna go G, B minor, up, up, down, and then D, down, down, up, up, down, and then G. And then give it one last strum, and that's the end. Yeah, there you go. This one isn't hard. Like, the chords aren't hard, but the rhythm and the amount of different progressions makes it a little bit hard. But... If you just keep listening to the song, you can get it. Alright guys, I tried my best, but I really hope this helped you to learn this song. I'm thinking that I'm going to try to do some other songs from folklore, so if you have any favorites, let me know. I'm thinking of just doing bonus videos every week in addition to my two posts just to get these tutorials out to you guys, so there's probably going to be a few extra videos coming your way. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe so you don't miss any more Taylor Swift guitar tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, everything counts. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! But I knew everything when I was young. When you are young, you <laughs> when you <laughs> oh my god, I hate myself. You put me on, said I was your favorite.